Overwhelmingly negative. Oh my god, hang on. Dude, Gollum is only mostly negative slash mixed. How do you manage to be significantly worse than Gollum? Fantastic. They forgot the A in fantastic. Not off to a good start. Also, they got to download a septum replacer. That septum was not very high quality. Create your day before. Roamer. Pathfinder. Go Ghost. Published by Mytona. You Mytona changed the name of your company after releasing this game. Am I right? Guess what, everybody? This game has a text chat that even if you toggle it off in the menu, it still don't turn off. So you you know what time it is. Hi, everybody. I'm Poppy. Thank you, Poppy, for your valuable service in blocking text chat in video games. First metaverser, now this. Welcome to the immersive world of the day before. We got a tree with the lights. Welcome to the Woodbury Survivor Colony. What is, is that a player just sprinting on the bottom there? He's bored. He's just sitting on his desk. He just doesn't have a lot going on. He must have realized this game has no content. Help each other. Help each other not use a font for the hand-painted sign. Is storage room a font? No, storage room is not a font because the O's are different. Okay, so they know how to do it. They just didn't do it for this sign. Is this a post-apocalypse survival or my local polling place? Roach, we gotta drop into the DMZ and secure the I voted sticker. What do you think of Woodbury at first glance? It sucks. Hmm, I just can't decide which one I want to drink. There's so many good options like clipping my hand into the vending machine and fresh soda. WWCMD. What would Caffeine Man do? Caffeine Man wouldn't drink a fresh soda. Caffeine Man only drinks Gorilla Mine. Hey, so since this video is probably going to get watched by thousands of people, let me know what you think of the Gorilla Mind logo. I think it sucks. There are people who shall remain nameless in Twitch chat who think the logo for the Gorilla Mind can is good. Comment below your opinion on the Gorilla Mind can design. Land plot. Welcome to your land plot. You have a cabin. Open B for building mode. Camp Cot. Camp Cot. Camp Cot. Here we go. This is my new town. Screw Woodbury. Woodbury sucks. This is Cot land where everybody gets their own cot. Let nobody be uncomfortable while they sleep in this great new republic. Every cot comes with a free standard stool. Wow, what a bargain. You might think from this angle that the stool is on top of the cot, but you'd be wrong. It's flying in there. It's not a phase gamer compound, but it's a start. Side tables go floating on top of the bed. That's where those go. That's where I have mine in real life in my bedroom. And the radio, you know, the radio goes right where your head is. So it's easier to wake up in the morning. Uh, the oil lamp has to go precariously perched on the edge of the side table. That way it can fall down and light your house on fire. Now you can explore new Fortune City and its surroundings. Beware of the infected and other survivors. Oh, I hear shooting. Who's that? I think there might be some gameplay over here. Look out, it's a zombie. Oh my God. You're not dead from that? That was all my ammo. What the heck? Stop. Stupid zombie doesn't even know that Woodbury's a peaceful town. Get out of here. There we go. What do you think, Poppy? Was that scary? <laughs> it was kind of spooky, I guess. Here comes the undead. All right. I'm thrilled. And I'm shot and I am dead. That was the day before. I like your attitude, buddy. What? Shut up nerd. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. I just got killed. Can I have one of your soup cans? I think I lost all my soup cans when I died because this game is a Tarkov clone instead of a zombie MMO. Whatever seeds were found, we're planted. If you want, drop in to visit us. We'll be happy to share. You'll try such delicious vegetables for the first time. Hey man, do you mind if I uh, work out here in the gym? Oh no, sorry, you can't. You don't have enough wood coins. Good to see gym memberships are still a thing in the post-apocalypse. Oh my God, is the zombie apocalypse. What do we do? Quick, leave all of our garbage in one organized pile. When future generations discover our no frame rate civilization, they will say at least they had their garbage situation kinda under control before it all ended. I gotta say, today was a good day. You died, you got killed. Who here wants to get the ass? Whipped. What? It's getting better all the time, huh? Nope. It's really not. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Who's shooting at me? Who would even shoot at somebody in the day before, honestly? We're all in this mess together. Why even bother engaging in PvP? Take him down. I'm out of ammo. Hang on, I gotta reload. Hide behind the dog sign. All right, re-engage. Oh, I headshot him. I got him, dude. Number one day before player worldwide. Give me all your loot. What'd you have? Oh, this guy had a different shirt. Nice, that's mine. I'm wearing the shirt. Give me your toothpaste. Give me your can of tomatoes. Give me your credit card. Give me your CPU cooler. Give me your exact same starter rifle I already have. Thank you for your purchase. And don't thank me so soon, pal. I fully intend on getting my money back for this one. I hope the company that made this game gets so many chargebacks on Steam refunds that like their bank account gets suspended and they have to eat beans inside the gymnasium for a year to recover financially. Wait, invite? Invite the squad? Yeah, join my squad, Mir. Oh, he's running away. Never mind. Bye, Mir. We could have been a good team, you and I. How about you, Clout? Want to be my team, Clout? Let's squad up. The day before. Action decline. Thanks for nothing, Clout. In the immersive world of the day before, 
4, walk around, friend requesting all the other streamers who are playing this game to try to record funny moments gameplay for YouTube videos. The real item we're trying to extract isn't the supplies for Woodbury. What we're really trying to extract is glitchy gameplay clips for our gamer rage bait videos. I got some wood coins somehow, can I work out now? Yeah, here we go, treadmill gaming. You spend 50 bucks to use the treadmill, money well spent. That's almost as much as I paid for this game. In the all new day before experience, we've simplified the loot treadmill system. Instead of grinding the game for 100 hours to get a legendary gun that sucks, your character will physically run in place on a treadmill for 50 hours, and you won't even get a good item. Oh, this guy joined me, nice. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Workout buddies. Maybe this guy will join my squad. Action declined, okay, thanks for nothing. So, so far in day before, I killed one guy, I died twice, and five separate people rejected my friend request. So things are going pretty good. Everything's nice and crisp. <laughs> <laughs> yep, nice and crisp. Let's see how the Metro subway system is looking. It's looking like you can't use it at all. Okay, you know what game had that? The Darkness 1 on PS3. So, uh, where's yours, day before? What do you have to say for yourself, ghost? Who here wants to get their ass whipped? You're fucking dead, kiddo! I don't know, guys. I might keep this game. The dialogue's pretty good. I know you're in here. I saw you run in here. There he is. Oh, it's a zombie. Where'd the guy go? Oh, he's around this corner. Get him while he's distracted. Day before. The day before. What the heck could he have? Do you have a blunderbuss? Gamers, you know what time it is. That was my only bullet. He's doing a reloading animation like he has more. Oh, I had two. Okay, now I have no more. Something tells me the forklift probably wouldn't blow up if I shot it a thousand times. Although this does appear to be forklift central. Can I build my crappy house here? I want to live amongst my own kind, among the forklifts next to the hot dog stand. Hey, got any tasty games at this stand? Uh, yeah, we have the day before and crab juice. Oh, oh God, oh, oh man, Ugh. I'll have a crab juice. What? Okay. That guy must not be a Simpsons fan. What did Bart Simpson say when he got killed in Tarkov? Loot my shorts. Okay, I now have like 50 pistol rounds. Here we go. The tires don't even pop. If the forklift blew up, I would have said the game was good. I would have been their only positive review. But alas, they did not add that feature. I'm not kidding, day before developers. If you make that forklift blow up, I'll give a positive review on my Steam page. I'll say, I don't understand the hate. The forklift done blows up when you shoot it. This game probably will win Labor of Love on the Steam Awards in like six years. If Cyberpunk can win a game award, then anything is possible. The open world of the day before is beautiful and richly detailed. Hey, uh, the game crashed, and so I lost my gun. All right, the gun that I bought and brought into the zone is now gone, and now I have no weapon at all. This game's made by Qualcomm. You can tell because of the quality comedy. This video wasn't made by Qualcomm. Hey, oh. I can confidently say this, though. You probably won't see a single other day before video that has Poppy Playtime in it. When the zombies attacked our society, they didn't turn off the TV. The big TV is still on. Nobody turned that off yet. We don't have enough electricity to power our medical equipment, but the fantastic coffee sign is still up. Look, it's art. It's modern, low-poly art of a squirrel, like all cities have. Jumping is the universal sign of unfriendly. Please don't kill me. Okay, I can't really blame him. If you're playing the day before, you gotta vent your anger somehow. I get it. Man, I tell you, Poppy. There's nothing like sitting inside of the old swimming pool of a school gymnasium full of cold water. Well, Poppy, what do you say? I got like 10 minutes left before I have to refund. Should I sit in the pool for 10 minutes or should I get my 40 bucks back? Uh, get your 40 bucks back. All right, yeah, it's probably a good call. And use it to buy the Poppy Playtime Battle Pass. Oh my God, Poppy, you're not buying your Battle Pass. Are you sure? There's some really good stuff on here. Look at all these tickets that can be yours. Guys, which one is your favorite? Pizza Huggy Wuggy? Steampunk Huggy Wuggy? Uh, tree Wuggy Voxel Huggy Wuggy? Wuggy, silver, huggy, wuggy. Pizza huggy wuggy is kind of good. That's, that's just not bad. Pizza huggy wuggy as a concept is definitely better than the entirety of the day before. CRT boxy boo. I like that. That's good. That's actually pretty good. It's got a boxy boo as a TV. Dude, why are the skins in Poppy Playtime actually not bad? Turtle boxy. We got a ruby boxy. Yeah, that, that one kind of sucks. That one's pretty bad. That's a pretty day before tier skin. Unfortunately, it would appear that at least one person in my squad bought
bought at least $30 worth of Poppy Playtime Battle Pass cosmetics. Okay. People wonder how the day before is getting purchased. That's that's why. Poppy Playtime is kind of an extraction shooter because you got to extract the uh, toy pieces. Look out, it's Boxy Boo. Oh, Boxy Boo's is looking. Boxy Boo wants to admire the cosmetics. Hi, Boxy Boo. Hello. Oh, he's, he went in the box. Oh, look out. Here comes Boxy. Oh, he's got an e-boat. He's got a little Boxy e-boat. How much did that cost, I wonder? Sometimes you just got to sit back and marvel at the state of gaming. What a fantastic medium. There is a high possibility the person controlling Boxy Boo is not over the age of like two. So you can't really expect too much from him. Hey, Boxy Boo, which one do you want? Do you want the, uh, you want the robot head? Here, I'll get you a robot head. Is that the one you wanted, pal? <laughs> That's the one you wanted, sport? Here you go. You want the star? You want a star, Boxy? Okay. There you go. Oh, I know I missed. Oh, Boxy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he just attacked me because I'm... <laughs> He attacked me because I missed the item. Oh, no. Hang on. No, no, no. I don't want to back out. Boxy, please. Please, Boxy. No, no. <laughs> he actually killed me because I failed the easy mini game for kids. That's funny. Did you have to chomp me? That was kind of rude. That was really mean. Can you make Kissy Missy? I'm trying to make Kissy Missy, Boxy. Please stop. I've almost got it. And yeah, yeah, see, I can do it. I know how to play the game. Bet you feel real stupid now, don't you? Boxy's like, wow, I never could have solved that. Is it a Huggy Wuggy vending machine? Oh my God, Poppy Playtime has its own in-universe candy line. Screw Mr. Beast. When can I buy that in stores? I would totally buy the Huggy Wuggy's Delicious Puffs. That's a day one purchase for me. Well, Boxy, this has been pretty fun, actually. I kind of played the Poppy Playtime as a joke, but it ended up being pretty good. Day before four sucks though don't play that one can we get one more jump scare for the road boxy there it is